Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I hope everybody is doing well out there. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at something that's been requested several times on the channel. Uh, unfortunately, it's something I don't have a lot of uh, familiarity with uh, other than just doing some research for this video. Uh, but today we're gonna take a look at something called Node Red. And as it says on their website here, Node Red is a programming tool for wiring together hardware devices, APIs, and online services in new and interesting ways. So let's go ahead and take a look at installing that in in Docker. Okay, so uh, as I mentioned, I'm not terribly familiar with this. This isn't really my shtick as far as uh, development is concerned. I'm sure it's great. I've seen other people use it. I'm not terribly familiar with it. So there's a chance I may screw something up in this video, but we're actually gonna take a look at Node Red's own uh, Docker installation. So everything should work pretty well. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and close their website and we'll come over here to hub.docker.com where we spend a fair amount of time taking a look at different things. And of course, all of these links will be available in the blog post linked in the description down below. So definitely check that out. Uh, so here, if we take a look, we can see that uh, here it is. Uh, just It can be just that easy to run in a shell command if you wanted to do it that way. There's a minimal version that you could run as well if you wanted to do that. And it looks like there's also some support, I don't know how much, but some support for uh, Raspberry Pi slash ARM devices. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that one too much. Uh, everything that we're gonna do here is going to be on an x86 processor. So uh, you'll have to check out the, uh, the ARM version for your Yourself and uh, let me know in the comments if it worked for you. Uh, if we look, uh, if we scroll down, that's the end of the page. And there's unfortunately no uh, no stack that we can use here. It's all just stuff to do in a shell command. So uh, I took a couple of minutes to rewrite this as a stack. And uh, so let's go ahead and jump over to Portainer here. Um, I actually need to delete that stack because I was just messing with it. So we'll go ahead and click on remove. And now we should be good to go so that we can go ahead and click on add a stack. I'm gonna copy my notes from over here and I'll just paste this in. Uh, this one is really, really straightforward uh, as far as uh, installation is concerned. Again, if you look at this, it's only one very short line here. So we don't expect the stack to be too much, um, but this is it. It's gonna run on port 1880. Um, and, 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 and then, and that's it. Like there's, there's nothing else to change there. Um, there, there are no, uh, uh, environmental variables or any of those kinds of things to, to mess with in this one. So, uh, all we've got to do is copy in those nine lines and, uh, scroll down and click on deploy the stack. So we'll go ahead and give this a minute to do its thing. And then we can jump over to port 1880 and take a look. <laughs> All right, so that deployed pretty quickly, all things considered. So if we click on here, uh, we can see that it's starting and then we can come into here and take a look, see if there's anything going on. Um, everything here looks okay. So let's go back. Let's go ahead and refresh that page. All right, so now just for the giggles of it, let's jump over to here and go to 1880. And there you go. There is Node Red installed on Docker. Uh, again, it was pretty easy. Um, and, and basically, I guess at this point you can, uh, you know, just start dragging some of these things out and connecting them, that sort of thing. Um, oops. Yeah, so like those will connect. So of course there's there's logic and that sort of thing to programming. So there should be no surprise that uh, there's gonna need to be some logic here and just dragging and dropping things isn't gonna do much. So again, this isn't really my shtick. I don't, I've never developed this way. Um, so hopefully you guys can, can use this as a jumping off point to get started with developing in Node Red. So there you go, guy, that, nah, hmm. All right, guys, there you go. There is how to install Node Red in Docker uh, using Node Red's actual actual source code versus using a third party like Linux server IO or something like that. Uh, so this should work pretty much out of the box. Uh, again, this is their setup. So I would hope uh, that it would work pretty, pretty flawlessly, I would think. So uh, all that being said, I hope you found the video helpful. And if you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you're interested in this kind of content, I've got new content coming out all of the time. Actually, uh, in large part, thanks to you guys for making recommendations and requests and things like that. I really do appreciate that. Um, if you're interested in this kind of content, you want to uh, contribute, definitely leave uh, comments in the description or in the comment section down below, uh, letting me know what you'd like to see next. Uh, also, don't forget to get subscribed if you're not already subscribed so you can be notified when these kinds of videos come out. 
And I think, oh, if you want to support the channel, there are a few different ways you can do that. Below this video, uh, there is some merch. Uh, with everything going on, it may ship slowly. So tread carefully, I guess, there. Uh, Teespring's an awesome company, but of course, things are shipping very, very slowly right now. Uh, below that, in the description, there will be a link to coffee uh, where you can uh, buy me a coffee. It's like a one-time tip jar. And of course, there's Patreon where you can become a patron and join the... Uh, well, the several people who have actually decided to come, become patrons, uh, but a few of them have decided to join at the five or $10 level, which gives you access to a, a, a patrons only Discord server. If you wanna be part of that, where we can just hang out and chat about whatever, uh, you can make requests there, ask for help, whatever the case may be, uh, the five and $10 levels will give you access to that Discord server. So with all that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support and I'll talk to you in the next video.